Alright, what's going on guys, man? Today we're going to be using the SWAT in Modern Warfare. Now, I'm not sure if you guys know, but with that new AR that they added into the game, the Growl or whatever that thing is called, you can change it a lot, man. Like, I'm pretty sure this is the only weapon in the game where if you change the barrel, the iron sights change. So, low-key, that changes a lot about a weapon, man. So, if you put on certain other attachments, you can make it look like a completely different weapon. And everyone's been saying, everyone's been telling me that this looks like, or basically is the SWAT, like from Black Ops 4. And it does look pretty similar. The iron sights are basically exactly the same. It feels exactly the same because it's got no recoil it shoots pretty quick it kind of sounds like it i guess but it's also shaped like it as well so it's got the right iron sights it's got everything like i said everyone's been saying that this setup right here reminds them of the swap from bo4 i mean you can change the barrel like i used the 26.4 before and it looks nothing like it really but when you put on this last barrel right here bro it turns into the swap i don't know man but yo, before we go any further into this video man if you guys could drop an early like on the video that would be appreciated i want everyone to drop a like right now man it doesn't hurt it's free just do it come on man help me out please come on and also if you do want to be featured at the end of one of my videos so basically all you need to do is hit the bell to turn on post notifications and let me know in the comments what was your first call of duty you ever played like i want to know whether it's modern warfare 2 world at war modern warfare flipping advanced warfare whatever it is let me know because i read all the comments man <laughs> All right, here we go, man. The SWAT joint. Like I said, the iron sights just feel like it. It's either the SWAT or... I don't know. It feels like two different weapons to me. The SWAT and the uh, the AK-12 from, like, Ghost, was it? I think it was in Ghost. Yeah, it reminds me of those. And that's what I've been hearing a lot of people say. Like, especially when you first got their hands on this gun. It was like, hold up, man. Nah, this is the AK-12. Or nah, this is the SWAT. But then you realize you can literally... Oh, bro, that's not a war. You can literally change the iron sights on the weapon when you change the barrel. So it can really be all those different weapons. Oh, flip. My first game on, by the way, so, hey. Don't expect... Oh, all right. Don't expect some outstanding flipping gameplay right uh, here. Oh, nah. Ah, bro. He's got an RPG in his back pocket. What? I guess we'll call in the VTOL. Bro, this, these spawns on this map low-key get on my nerves. And also, I'd put it down to me not playing the game enough. Or not the game, like this map enough. Because a lot of the time, I don't really know certain lines of sight that they can see through. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, sometimes there's certain gaps that these fools can see through that I have no idea about. And, yeah, I find out, like, last second. Uh, yeah. The more I use this growl, the more I start to think it might be the best weapon in the game. I'm just going to be honest. Like, because realistically, the top three weapons, I reckon, are... Wait, oh nah, hold oh, up. Top three weapons are probably the Ram, the M4, and now the Growl. Like, I really do think that's the case. So, hold up. All right, yeah, so he's just casually watching there, yeah? Please watch over me, teammates. I'm scared. Ow. Here we go. What? Hey, bro. These spawns never cease to amaze me. They never. But, uh, yeah, the top three weapons, probably the Ram, the M4, and now the Growl. So I'm starting to this one right here, man. I don't know. There's something about it. Yo, why yo, why is everyone throwing semtexes nowadays? Like what is that? Everyone's starting to throw semtexes. It really throws me off. <laughs> what and grenades? Look at that. Like, I don't know. I wanna use. I wanna be able to use the uh kill chain. Because now I don't know if you guys know. I'm sure you guys do know, but they moved it. So you can actually rock kill chain and ghost at the same time so yeah i mean i kind of want to use that to be able to get my advantage av a little bit easier but oh bro if that goes for me i swear we go. wait where am i getting shot from chilling there's a guy up top and he's scaring me oh the teammate moved bro oh my yo bro he ruined it why would he ruin it Oh, bro, I hate teammates, bro. I hate teammates. I was one off the advance, and then he plants a claymore right next to me and steals my kill, and then I get an assist. Oh, I can't believe it. That is really funny. I don't... Oh, man. I'm mad, but that's, like, the weirdest situation ever. Like, I don't even believe that happened. Hey, hold up. Let me get this guy from up top. He's starting to get on my nerves. You know what? I'm going to plant this whole VTOL top mid simply for him. Like, so I'm getting mad. And there's no way that just occurs like that. 
No flipping way. Yeah, best weapon. What do you think the best weapon is in the game? Like, if you've used the growl, is the growl the best gun? I don't know. It's just a fact. I don't know. Yeah, it barely has any recoil. It kind of melts. It's pretty powerful. I, I, I don't know. But realistically, it probably just comes down to, I don't know, like, which one you like the feel of more. Because realistically, like, the all pretty much do the same thing like you can melt everyone pretty much the same there's never gonna be like a drastic difference between all like the top three weapons but i'm sure you guys know what i'm saying man it's like i guess it might come down to mobility which one moves faster when you're sprinting or which one can you aim faster with after sprinting or whatever i don't know man i don't know i'm just rambling on at this point I'm trying to figure out with you guys what you think the best one is out of all of them but i just can't come to a conclusion all right i can't come to a conclusion man Hold up, I just popped off a little bit. Move teammate. Really throwing me. Okay, alright, never mind. As soon as I start popping off again. Hey, man, no worries. I think I said it in my last video, but no one goes for the objective in Rust. Like, literally, look at that. It's hard point. I believe it goes to 250. Max points was 99. Uh, yeah. Vibes, vibe. We love the flipping vibes. <laughs> I was in there for way too long, but we managed to secure the flipping nuke. Just secured the nuke vibes, boys. I was using the growl for the vibe. I sound like Brad, but I might be tripping. Yeah, it's Brad. Oh, that's Brad. Okay, that's what I thought. Brad. I don't know anybody else to sound like that dude. They dropped a nuke, bro. Yeah, I'd be mad we going You got the nuke, Brad? Yeah, I came in there for some energy. You know the vibes. In the, in the room? Hey, Brad. Hey, man, hey. I'm hyped for you. Let's Brad. go, baby. You know yeah. nuke. Yeah. Right, let's go, <laughs> A little bit of we're, energy. We're I like that. It was the growl vibe, you know. Let's go. Yeah, Better than the Ram. Better than the um, Ram. You heard what I said in my video today, bro. I think it's the best gun right now. Hands Low down, bro. key, this joint is kind of fire. The growl joint is a vibe, bro. I'm telling you. I don't know. It's a close call. It is a close call. <laughs> nah, it definitely. More like a close cat. What are y'all talking huh? about? No, yo, Chris. No, hey, yo, Chris, what are you talking, talking about, about right now, that? bro? Oh, you should have you should've saw the damn conversation her and I, I was having the other day. Oh, I saw it. Come on, fam. I should've just stayed in the DMs, bro. Yo, Chris, what's up, bro? I'm mad, mate. Nah, we... <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, I'm happy to say, like, yo, I've kind of been enjoying Modern Warfare recently. I'm not too sure what it was, what the shift was. Of course, it's still, like, frustrating times, like, with the name thing, bro. I was getting heated at that. I thought that was the most stupid thing ever, but I don't know. In terms of just actually playing the game, going for certain streaks and stuff like that, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it, man. And I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but when you go for uh, loops on, like... Okay, all right, did not expect that. You go for like nukes on BO4 and stuff like that. I guess it's cool, but it's the fact that you've got a callable nuke in this game. I think that's what I like. The callable nuke. Like games that have nukes that you're able to call in, like the V2 rocket from World War II, even though I hated that game. The deatomizer strike. Just all these different types of uh, callable nukes, man. I enjoyed a lot more than just the nuclear medal. Of course, you still get hyped over the medal, but it's like, it's not, it's not quite the same, is it? Here we go. Oh, flip. Wait, let me in. Oh, he was laid down there, bro. He got sauced. He got finessed. What? Haha, <laughs> you clown. You clown as well. 
Bro, what in the world? Bro, he, he they legit just spawned right there. Bro, I hate when I'm counting UAV. I feel so lost. What the hell? Oh! Bro, there's so many people over there. There's so many people there. What the hell? I've got my advance, so low-key, we might be able to vibe out, boys. I want to get to D-building because it's a vibe if you get there, but just getting there, that's the issue. Of course he hits me. <laughs> of course he does. <laughs>